Martin, thanks for joining us. Another win, another game unbeaten. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought the uh, the team played very, very well. Um, of course, when they had that chance to go 2 0 up, and it just went the other side of the post, um, I thought that was a. Um, took a deep breath, if you like. It was a whew, relief. Um, they've won five games away from home, they've won away at Portsmouth. They've got some dangerous players, and it was a tricky game. Um, but after that, I thought we uh, applied ourselves very well. I thought overall our uh, team was very strong. It's great to see uh, uh, another 17-year-old making his debut for our uh, for our club, uh, young Efron, who I thought was played very, very well. But it was always going to be a question of getting to that 60, 65 minutes. And we all know what John Paul can do when he comes on. Well, I don't know what, he, what he's going to do, he don't know, I don't think. But he does something, doesn't he? He's like kind of, he's a, he's a box of box of frogs, isn't he? You know, anything can happen. To, and he does that when the game opens up. And uh, I thought our team looked very strong. I thought they looked very powerful. And um, and of course, then in the last ten minutes, when that one, I thought it was, it was a brilliant shot. I was right behind it, and it moved. And I thought Jamie done well to actually save it. Um, it could have been a very scary ten minutes. But um, I thought we defended very disciplined, very defiant and what we were doing. Didn't give them any opportunities to get near our goal. And that is a skill in itself, which has been from work on the training pitch. So credit there to all the players to how to win the game and not concede late on, which we've been guilty of on a few occasions this season. Uh, and then the last thing that made it special for me today was the, um, was the music. Was the music. Um, the music from the far side, um, someone had sort of turned the volume up and um, they just keep singing that same song and uh, I enjoyed the music, I enjoyed the music. The performance of Efron at 17, he obviously came on and did very well last week off the bench but to start today, different thing and he came through it really well didn't he? Yeah he did, I thought um, it was time um, you know, we've been playing with four, four, one, one, one. You know, Kurt just behind uh, John doing really well. It was very difficult to leave out Ryan Watson today because he's played superbly well in central midfield with uh, Tom Champion. But the way that I wanted the team to play, I thought it was a good game for Curtis to come in there and play so he could link up with the forward players. And as you rightly say, um, it's a big step up for Efron, but he's very mature. He's not a 17 year old kid. He's a 17 year old that's got full of self belief and um, he's been very, very good in training. I nearly played him at Plymouth on Tuesday night, but I thought today uh, would be the right day for him. It's a taster. Um, you know, Nana had one a couple of weeks ago with that Harry Taylor playing in the first team. You know, I am trying to get some of these young boys to come through, and, um, and I thought that was an outstanding performance from him, and I would hope all our supporters will be uh, sort of smiling and thinking, wow. <laughs> John Akindi led from the front again, fantastic performance. How important is it that people look beyond the goals with him and his all-round contribution? That was his best performance today for a long time. Did he score? He didn't. He didn't score? No. Nope. Well, that was his best performance for our team. He led the team from the front. He was powerful, he was strong, he had good set-up play in and around the halfway line. He was a threat going in behind. Um, he won his headers from goal kicks. So it's great that he scores the goals, but I have more interest in our team and how he fits into our team. And his team performance today, if he carried, well, that's, that's how he has to play. That's how he has to play. And from the bench, Jean-Louis, we've seen it so many times this season, what a threat he can be, it must be great for you to have that option to call upon. Yeah, yeah it is, the game's not won by 11 players nowadays, it's, uh, it's different to that now. Those players that come off the bench, uh, they can win you it and they can lose you it pretty quick. And um, you know, I put, I make that substitute, a substitution after a discussion with my staff. And um, you know we've seen it all before over the years, and they'll uh, say um, that was a great substitution by the manager. Well, it's okay doing the substitution, but the bloke going on's got to be a good player. 
So it's not so much a great substitution, it's a good bloke that's going on, a good player going on, he makes the difference. And everyone says, oh, well done, Martin, for making that substitution. Well, it ain't me, it's him. He does it, I don't do it. Uh, and we've got players that can score us goals and make us goals, and we've also got players that can uh, fit in, like Tomo did towards the end there. He came on with fresh legs and chased around and harassed the opposition to stop any quality passes coming forward. And so we've got players that can do a bit of that and a bit of that. And of course, we practice and train on that through the week, not through luck. Got a weekend off coming up before the trip to Yeovil. What's the plan in the meantime? Well, uh, I ain't got a weekend off. Um, Yeovil play Crawley next week, so I'll be there for that one. Um, just doing normal, really. Got a, got a game on Monday, Tuesday against Gillingham, one o'clock kickoff here at the training ground. Um, everyone that hasn't played today will play in that. Plus the lads that are just on the periphery of our squad. So the lads not quite in the 18 at the moment, they'll all be playing. Um, we need to rest some of them because of, we need to you know, strengthen, re, re, um, re-energize their body and their mental efforts back together. So um, for the players, it's, it's a nice little break in a funny kind of a way. And um, so for the, some of the ones that haven't been playing, you know, we'll work them. And then after the next weekend, we'll get them all back together and get the preparation going for the, uh, for the, for the Yeovil away game. Fantastic. Thank you, Martin.